Scientists discover your brain still works after death. Yeah, that's a little creepy. Apparently scientists have discovered the mind still functions after your body stops showing signs of life. So I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Flatliner that was recently released. If you haven't, then go watch it. It's pretty cool. But that's what brought this conversation up among doctors and scientists. Now this movie is a remake, but it helps spark this topic once again. Apparently recollections were verified by medical and nursing staff who claimed patients could remember what they said after being pronounced technically dead. Could you imagine how scary that must be? You can't move, yet you can still hear these doctors saying that you're dead. Dr. Sam Parnia said, technically that's how you get the time of death. It's all based on the moment when your heart stops. Once that happens, blood no longer circulates to the brain, which means brain functions halt almost instantaneously. You lose all of your brain stem reflexes. Your gag reflexes, pupil reflexes, all of that is gone. Some patients have actually described watching doctors and nurses working and they'll describe having awareness of full conversations that would otherwise not be known to them. Yeah. That's terrifying. Hey guys, welcome back to LP. I'm Court McGinley. I hope all of you are having a great weekend so far. Let me know down in the comments what you are doing. Tomorrow I'm going to a pumpkin patch, so I'm super excited for that. So in yesterday's video, I made an announcement, but if you missed it, I'll mention it now. Next weekend, I'm not going to be able to produce videos for you guys because I'm going to be getting married. Yes, it's my wedding day. It's finally here. And that's gonna be on October 27th. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. So if you wanna be up to date with all of that and experience this special day with me, then make sure you follow me on Instagram Instagram at Court McGinley. This week leading up to the wedding, I'll be posting lots of pictures and putting a lot on my Insta story. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow me so you can come along for the ride. Also, as I mentioned in last week's video, at the end of this video, I'll be answering your questions and comments. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video for that. And I'll also tell you how you can get your questions answered in an upcoming video. All right, without further ado, let's get started on today's news stories. California is officially the first US state to legally recognize a third gender. On official state documents, residents can now check male, female, or non-binary. California Governor Jerry Brown made this official by signing the Gender Recognition Act. This officially recognizes a non-binary gender option for driver's licenses, birth certificates, and California state-issued IDs. This bill is called Bill 179, and it will make it easier for people who want to change their gender on legal documents. This bill also will help create a new process for people under the age of 18 to apply for a gender change on their birth certificates. Personally, I think this is great. It's a huge step in the right direction. Several other countries have already accepted or begun motions to include a third gender, including Australia, Germany, India, New Zealand, Pakistan, Thailand, the UK, and my home and native land, Canada. The law will officially be in effect in 2019. Next, Black China is suing the Kardashian-Jenner family for slut shaming. That's right, Rob's ex-fiance filed a lawsuit this week claiming the famous family interfered with the potential second season of her reality show, Rob in China, after the couple split last year. According to China, the family defamed her in an effort to destroy her career. So she's asking for unspecified damages. In the lawsuit, Kim, Chloe, Courtney, Chris, Kendall, and Kylie are all named. Next, 82 children have been rescued from a sex trafficking ring. 82 juveniles were rescued last week during a nationwide sweep and over 120 people were arrested. The FBI uncovered a sex trafficking ring after two sisters, one who was five years old and the other who was three months old, were rescued in Denver by undercover agents. The trafficker was actually a family friend and made a deal to sell the kids for sex for $600. Sex trafficking is such a horrific thing and to think these girls were five years old and three months old, that's just disgusting. But that's the horrible reality of it. There's some disgusting, horrible people out there and sex trafficking just seems to be getting more and more out of hand. The FBI continues to work with agencies and organizations in child protective services. But the sad reality is that there are still thousands of children locked in shackles and are sold into sex slavery and sometimes raped several times a day. It's amazing that these 82 children were rescued, but there's still so much more work to be done to save all of the children. Now, as promised last week, I told you guys I'd be answering some of your questions. If you have any questions you'd like to ask, then make sure you post them below. It could be something personal or something about the channel, and I'll answer them in an upcoming video. All right, let's get started. Elise0809 asked, where's the coolest place you've been? Honestly, I'd probably have to say Salem. I went there last year, the week of Halloween, and everyone was dressed up. It was so cool. And Hocus Pocus is my favorite Halloween movie, so we got to see the house. That was amazing. And lucky for you guys, I vlogged it. So if you guys wanna head on over to my YouTube channel called Court McGinley Vlogs, you can check it out for yourself and see all the cool things that we got up to and what goes on there. Also, while you're there, you might as well subscribe. I took a little break from vlogging, but after my wedding, I'm going to get back at it. I mean, I can't miss Vlogmas. Next, Magnar Saxlin asked, 
asked. Hey Courtney, have you ever seen a meme of yourself? I actually don't think I have. I've had fan art, but never a meme. So if you guys like to make me one, I'm all for it. If you make me one, tag me on Instagram at Court McGinley, and there's a very good chance I'll post it. Next, Juan Morado asks, how long have you been with your fiance? We've been together 10 years, so yeah, it's about time we're getting married. LP Animations asks, what's your favorite color? I actually have two, and they are burgundy and blue. Next, in the last video I asked people what they were dressing up for as Halloween, and Krista Barlett said, I'm going to be a flapper, what about you? I honestly have no idea, but a flapper sounds like a really fun costume. Usually I plan out a costume, but I've had no time this year, just been so preoccupied with wedding planning. So I'll probably just wear something I wore a previous year. All right, there you guys go. That's all the stories I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.